OK, perfect. So <clears throat> a couple things to notice. One of the major mistakes that students make is possibly because they're not paying attention um, or they keep on forgetting it. So let's make sure that we look up here and remind ourselves that b minus 3 squared is the same thing as b minus 3 times b minus 3. So we cannot just distribute the squaring across. It's not b squared plus 9. It's b minus 3 times b minus 3. These are not a difference of two squares. So we can't just multiply the first terms and the last terms. These are the bi same binomial multiplied by itself. So we have to apply our distributive property or foiling technique. So I have b times b squared minus 3b minus 3b plus 9. Does everybody see that? No? No? OK. Don't know what. Watch. Oh, b times b is b squared. b times negative 3 is negative b. Why do you have to foil it? You have to foil. It's the most common mistake students will make. So that's why I'm happy to go over this problem for you. Because the other one I told you to do, number 44, again, I was going to check that one. If you didn't foil it, I was going to make you redo it. So you have to make sure you foil. Yes? You have to, when you're multiplying an expression by an expression, you have to multiply every term in this expression times every term in this expression. OK? So when we multiply them, Tyler, now what we can apply is now we can just apply a distributive property with a monomial. So we get b cubed minus 6b squared plus 9b. Now, to classify it, we need to know how many terms and what the degree is. The degree is 3, so it's cubic. And the number of terms is 3, so it's a trinomial. So we'd say a cubic trinomial.